Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond This Games. And what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial is how to use the auto tiling feature in Game Maker Studio. And this video very closely relates to the new beginner Game Maker Studio 2 course that you Heartbeast and I just launched on Udemy. So this is the tile set that we use that I use when I'm teaching the platformer section and this video will be very similar to one of the videos I use and teach others how to do tiling in that course. So if you like this and find it useful please check out that Udemy course and there'll be a coupon in the description below and you can check that out to get the lowest price possible. With that being said let's dive into this. So you need to import a sprite and this will be available for you to download from the description down below and this is a predefined pre-created tile set by you Heartbeast, which is awesome so we're going to create a new tile set i'm going to call this ts dirt and once you create a tile set then you can choose a sprite to that is going to be that tile set and that's why you have to have a sprite first you can't just import a sprite and use it as a tile set you have to have a sprite first and then a tile set so this one specifically is supposed to be 32 width and 32 height and there is supposed to be a blank space right here this is supposed to be offset so if you have a really good tile set specifically for game maker studio it will be designed like this and it'll also be designed perfectly in order i'll show you what to do if it's not in order but if it is then it's much much easier but you also have the option of changing the x and y offset the separation if they're further apart and the border x and y as well so let's go to auto tiling down here this button underneath the editors and we're going to enlarge this so that i can show it to you a little bit easier and here we go now here we have a blank space that is going to be the default for either one. So you can do a 16 set or a 47 set. And you can see here that the first one is blank right here. And in the 16 set, you can tell which ones are supposed to go where a little bit easier. So the very first one is all grayed out. So that is the full gray one that will be in the middle of everything. And then it shows you which ones are supposed to be. So you can see if, you, if I zoom in here this second tile set this is kind of like an edge border and this is this would be the very edge and this whole section would be the interior here and you can see that it relates to that because it's kind of like a half circle on the edge over here and then it has the same on that side and so forth so if you're doing the either one 16 or 47 you need to choose the tiles that relate to that correctly so for this specific tile set i'm going to go ahead and delete that for the 47 it just goes directly in order so all we need to do is just go through and click on it now if you mess up and you choose one out of order if you can remember exactly where you were then you can pick up if not you'll probably need to just start over again because there's a lot and it's really hard to tell which ones you were on because they start to look very similar depending on the tile set and these ones can be a little difficult to tell but if we go through and we click one time on each one it fills it completely up and now we're actually all set to do it and this you can see that it's called auto tile 2 and we can change that and you can have multiple different auto tiles from one sprite sheet if you had them all together like that so what we need to do next is actually go into a room and from that room we need to create a tile layer so I'm gonna add that in and I'm just gonna name it dirt and we'll put it right there so that's above the background but underneath instances so once you have that we're going to choose a tile set on the right TS dirt is what we're going to choose and we need to go over to libraries and choose the auto tile that we want so if you have a tile set you can choose one tile and this can be very useful if you're like placing objects and stuff like that but we actually want to use the tile set that we just chose and this is where the magic happens so once you have that tile set you can click and then if you move your mouse around the things that are around it you can see that they're actually going to start changing based on the tiles that are around it and that is the magic of auto tiling so if we start creating the background 
and we want to fill it in like this or we want to have it uh, like this you can see that the sprite itself they change based on which ones are in there and it's really really cool it's very handy it's very useful and it saves a lot of time if you're just trying to create the environment from a fairly simple tile set. This gives it uh, an automated property, but it still allows you to come in and custom build the levels and just have it do some of the magic behind the scenes. Once you have a good tile set set up, you can create rooms so much faster. It is easier once it's there. If you have a bad tile set sprite sheet, it can be pretty difficult to get set up. But once you get it working, Setting up the levels and doing all of that is much, much easier. It's very, very cool how it does that. And that's really all there is to it. You can see that you can have multiple auto tiles from there, and if you want to choose a different one, then you just need to change the tile set over here, and then you can choose a different one from there. You can have multiple tile layers, so you can integrate multiple tile sets with multiple auto tilings if you wanted to do something like that. But once you have it set up, then you just choose it, from a tile layer and put it in and that's all you need to do it's awesome it makes level design much easier in my opinion and it is a really cool feature that is in game maker studio 2 not in 1.4 so that's a pretty big reason to upgrade if you've got a lot of level design and a good tile set to go with it so that's what i've got for you today again this is directly from the new game maker studio 2 course that i have so please check that out with the link in the description below. Let me know what you think of it. If you check it out, I would love to hear from you. But that's what I've got for you today. So as always, have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later.